Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have decided to combine a recipe which I did last night which can kind of be called a sausage and bean casserole, it could be called sausage surprise if you watch EastEnders, it could just be bonfire stew I guess. Basically I just felt like it was quite an autumnal bonfire night recipe so I did it last night, I pretty much just made it with the bits that I had. We stupidly cooked seven packs of sausages for a Halloween party on Sunday and I think we probably used like three and a half of them if that. We've had sausages for lunch and dinner every day since and my husband was going a little bit mad last night when I told him that we also had another sausage based meal but I have to say it was delicious and I do not normally rate myself as like I'm not you know, like I'm not like the best cook in the world, certainly not, but I actually really, really enjoyed it. The kids cleared their plates, which is an absolute first for us. So yeah, I thought that I would just show you how I made it. I'm not gonna do a separate Slimming World update this week. I have lost one pound, which is, you know, a reasonable amount of weight to lose. I am doing it. I wouldn't say I'm being totally strict. I am following Slimming World, but I am also having the odd treat every now and then. That's just how it is at the moment, leading up to Christmas, but I'm certainly not gonna just keep piling on the weight. If I can lose between a pound and two each week leading up to Christmas, I will be more than happy with that. But rather than sit down and do an actual separate Slimming World video, I have decided just to give a little update. Yes, I've lost a pound and hopefully can just carry on like that. I'm quite happy to pop a meal plan in a separate video of what we're having this week. But I thought on this occasion, rather than delay getting the Slimming World video up, I will just, kind of combine it with this recipe video so that's what I'm going to do so yeah hope you enjoy so first up as I do with almost all of my slow cooker recipes I'm just going to pop in a fair amount of this vegetable base mix from Tesco it's just carrot celery and onion diced really small Next, I've roughly chopped around about 10 pork sausages. These have actually already been pre-cooked because they're left over from our Halloween party. But if they weren't, I would just fry them off in a bit of oil before popping them into the slow cooker with the vegetable base mix. To the sausages and base mix, I'm just going to add a tin of chopped tomatoes and a tin of baked beans. Also, just a teaspoon of this very lazy garlic and that all just goes into the slow cooker all together on top of the sausages. I'm then going to add a good tablespoon as opposed to a teaspoon of this smoked paprika just because I want it to have a nice sort of bonfire smoky taste to the casserole. So a real decent sprig of that into the slow cooker as well. I'm then going to add a teaspoon of Marmite and a splash of Liam Perrins. One stock pot, we just use the vegetable one as that's what I had and I just fill up with freshly boiled water from the kettle, just enough to cover the food in the pot. I'm going to add around about a tablespoon of corn flour just to give it a lovely thickened appearance and then once that is all mixed together, I'm going to pop the slow cooker on low heat for around about eight hours. So after eight hours or so, this is what you have, a nice warm bubbling bean and sausage casserole. And I actually just served this up on half a jacket potato with a tiny bit of salt, pepper and a smidge of butter. And it was really, really tasty. We all cleared our plates, including the children. Hope you enjoyed that video and it was helpful. I quite enjoy recipe videos, especially when I am following Simmer World. It's always quite helpful to know of any different recipes. It's not necessarily a new recipe as such, but it's just what we had in the cupboard and certainly what we needed to use up sausage-wise. That's why we did it. But yeah, really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would absolutely love that. I'm also on Instagram, mama underscore hedgehog too, and on the lovely channel mum with the name Mama Hedgehog. See you soon. Bye.